The Sixth Show. Share, inspire, create.com. Share. Hey guys, Brent here from the Share, Inspire, Create show, The Sixth Show. And I'm here with my good friend Ugo Chai. Is that how you pronounce it? Chai. Chai. That would be Chai. That's uh, okay. pretty good. <laughs> and uh, Ugo, share something about where we are. So here we are in a location that is called Val d'Orcia, and it's in the heart of Tuscany. Uh, it's a beautiful location. Uh, it's very popular with photographers. That's uh, characterized by gentle rolling hills, fields, uh, vineyards, and lots of cypress, cypress trees. With the lineup they used to to plant cypress trees to um, on the side of roads, so you can great perspectives there and here we are in a special location probably the most popular in the area it's called the Belvedere and there's a, a farm on a hill with cypresses in our back and it's a great sunrise location so we actually this morning we got up at before six to get here for sunrise we call it a great sunrise uh, especially in this season we are in October uh, beginning of autumn uh, you get some great haze or fog clouds uh, among the hills so you get really great great light in the early morning here awesome i was just loving the texture this morning the the rolling hills with the texture shooting into the sun it's a little bit challenging shooting into the sun um you know have you got any tips for people that are are doing it or coming to this location well uh you you'll be shooting mostly into the sun from this position here and uh, the horizon is quite uh regular so uh, neutral density graduated neutral density filter can help a lot to darken the sky or you can take lots of bracketing do lots of bracketing i took like five bracketed shots uh, in some in some cases where the sun was up so that that helps and then you can later merge them or do an hdr in post inspire Okay, so you're going to inspire us with one of your images now, so we'll overlay that and maybe you can explain. The characteristic image that you get from this location, it's it's pretty popular. Uh, for me, it was the first time for me here too, so I got, you know, when, in, when I go to a place that is popular, I always try to get something different, interesting, but you also want to get the, I mean, it's a postcard shot a bit, yeah. but you need to get it. Create. And a little tip, guys, when you get here, there's quite a few photographers out there. They were all in the best spots, so don't be scared to walk around. Take a couple of shots, move somewhere else, get different um, angles, different perspective, shoot uh, portrait and landscape orientation. And it's just an awesome place, Ugo. And um, what was that saying that I learned in Italian recently? Mi cadono le braccia. <laughs> Mi cadono la braccia. <laughs> what does that mean? That means I can't take that no more. But that has nothing to do with this place. I mean, I could take this place for again and again and again. We'd never get tired of, of being here. I mean, actually, probably going to spend uh, the rest of the day walking, uh, driving around the area. There's other really great spots here. I've got a map with uh, six or seven of them. We'll see how many we can cover today. Awesome. Well, thanks so much for being on the show. If people want to find out a little bit more about you, where can they go? Uh, they can go to my website. It's ucphoto.me. That's ucphoto.me. Awesome. Well, thanks, Uga, for being on the, the sick show again. And thanks for, for coming to Italy and, uh, and finally meeting in person, face to face. It's been a great two days yeah. we had together here. It's awesome. Italy is definitely should be on your bucket list. Anyway, I'll see you guys next week. See you later. Bye. To find out more, go to shareinspirecreate.com.